In this video, I want to go through some examples of working with negative numbers. And with the first one here, what I want to uh, make sure you're clear on first is that we understand that 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. This is the commutative law. Okay, so it just means that you can rearrange those two values now and again, and you're going to get the same result. Both results will be 5. So that means that if we are doing minus 3467 plus 5591, I'm adding two numbers together. So that must be the same as 5591 plus negative 3467. These two things have to be the same. Now, I also said in the previous video that when I've got something like this, I can just remove the brackets. This doesn't uh, create any ambiguity. All this means is that I've got 5,591 plus the negative 3,467. And when you're adding a negative, that is the same as subtraction. So actually, this problem can be made easier by just rearranging and subtracting. So 5,591 take away 3,467. One take away seven I can't do, so I'm going to borrow one from the nine. So we have 11 take away seven, which is four. Eight take away six is two. Five take away four is one. Five take away three is two. So this is 2,124. OK, so that's how we can deal with a negative number added to a positive number. OK, number two, 38 times negative 13. So what I want you to do first is write it out as 38 times 13. And we're not, well, well we're going to ignore the minus sign and then just put the minus sign back in at the end, because essentially, because I've got 38 times minus 13, I know the answer is going to be negative. OK, so if I could just work this out, I pop a minus sign on the end. 3 times 8 is 24, so put down the 4, carry the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, add the 2 is 11. We bring in a 0, because now we're multiplying by 10. 1 times 8, 1 times 3. And we're going to add those two results together. 4, 9, 4. So our answer is minus 494, okay? Now essentially it's the same rule for number three. We have 483,651 divided by minus three. So what I'll do is I'll do 40, sorry, 483,651. I'm going to divide that by three ignoring the minus sign, and I'll put the minus sign back in at the end, because I know the answer is going to be negative. So 3s into 4 go once, with one remainder. 3s into 18 go 6. 3s into 3 go once. 3s into 6 go twice. 3s into 5 go once, with remainder 2. 3s into 21 go 7. So I know my answer is minus 161,000 217. Okay. And for the last one, minus 512 times minus 23. So I'm going to ignore the minus signs. 512 times 23. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Now put in a 0, because we're now multiplied by 20. 2 twos are 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Add those two results together. We'll get 6, 7, 7, 1, 1. And so our answer, because we've got a negative times a negative, will be a positive. So it will be 11,776. And that's my answer.